of this hall. Okay, uh, Mike Granite, Bellingham International Maritime Museum, and we're standing here on the front bow of the uh, sole surviving U.S. Navy patrol air cushion vehicle from Vietnam, which is a BHC SRN-5 built on the Isle of Wight in 1966. And three of these craft, I believe it was, came over to the United States and did a tour, a demonstration tour. The Navy saw them and figured that they needed to uh, employ them in Vietnam as on a trial basis, and so they were acquired from BHC and sent to Buffalo, New York, to Bell Aerosystems, Textron, who tore out the British engine and most of the British parts and put on American stuff so that the wrenches would fit and so forth. And they packed them off to Vietnam, and uh, uh, if they served several year-long tours, came back, were modified, went back for a year, were modified, returned to the States and modified, usually out of Coronado uh, down in Southern California. At the end of the deployment to Vietnam, the uh, craft were brought back and turned over to the U.S. Coast Guard and were put at the United States Coast Guard base under the Golden Gate Bridge uh, and served for about 10 years in San Francisco Bay. They lost two of the craft to various sinkings and one thing and another. So this was the remaining craft and it was given by the Coast Guard to their colleagues in Canada at the Canadian Coast Guard hovercraft base at Sea Island Airport in Vancouver. At that point, uh, the uh, Canadian Coast Guard unit was operating SRM-6s and this was to be used for parts and so forth to cannibalize for parts from this craft. Then the Canadian Coast Guard got AP-188s and all of the SRN-6 family, 5-6 family were deemed sort of obsolete. And under the circumstances, uh, acting in my capacity as the North American representative for British Hovercraft Corporation, I was walking past the uh, commanding officer of the Coast Guard base, his office one day, and happened to over overhear him telling one of his subordinates to get this craft off and down to the landfill. Uh, make room for a hangar that was being built, or about to be built. So kind of stepped in and asked if, there, if that was absolutely necessary, and long story short, uh, was given the craft as long as I could get it out of there within three days. But uh, managed to arrange, got it down to the U.S. border, and everybody poured out and says, what the hell is that? You know, and it's a hovercraft. Oh, where's it going? It's going to Bellingham. And then, well, what's its value? And I said, it didn't have any value. It was going to go into a landfill. No value. And the guy says, we're U.S. Customs, everything's got a value. And we worked out in the end that since it was made out of aluminum, we got the beer can rate. And uh, we're able to uh, get into the United States for about $50. And basically sat in my backyard for about 25 years. And, uh, and then eventually we found its colleague vessel, the Uniflight Bellingham built patrol, uh, river patrol boat, the PBR. We found one down in California and brought it up. And by amazing coincidence, when we learned the history of this craft and of the PBR, it turned out that they had worked together uh, at Mobile Base One on the Perfume River in 1968, doing daily operations together, doing maintenance at night back at the base. So the, here they were reunited. The PBR had come out of a landfill in Vallejo, California. So we feel pretty good about the fact that we've salvaged two remarkably important historic Vietnam era vehicles and proud of that fact. And uh, so anyway, that's it. This is our this is our sole surviving US Navy patroller cushion vehicle, the SK5.